say there's evidence that the fatal shot entered his body from the front, not the back, as authorities in Northern Ireland say. A British soldier has been charged with unlawful killing in connection with the incident. The Duke and Duchess of York have been at the centre of another security scare during their visit to Los Angeles when there was an incident involving a gunman. Security for the tour has been exceptionally tight. Sniffer dogs have been checking all press equipment and strict crowd control has been in force. Yesterday, while the Duke and Duchess drove to a church in Long Beach, a man was arrested for carrying a gun. But police say there was no threat intended to the royal couple and he was later released. The Duke and Duchess weren't told about the incident until they had completed their engagements and returned to the Royal Yacht Britannia. Heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson has signed to fight Frank Bruno in London this September. TVAM can exclusively reveal this morning that Tyson is to be paid £7 million by London entrepreneur Kiernan Murphy. But first, Tyson has to defend his title against Tony Tubbs and Michael Spinks. In the Gulf War, Iraq says many civilians have been killed and wounded in an Iranian missile attack on the Iraqi capital, Baghdad. Iraq said two surface-to-surface -surface missiles hit the city early this morning, destroying houses, shops and cars. The American Secretary of State, George Shultz, goes back to Jordan today on the latest stage of his Middle East peace mission. So far, only the Egyptians have given him any support. Since his mission began, 12 Arabs have died in violence in the Israeli-occupied territories. Two more were shot yesterday. In Panama today, opposition groups have called for a general strike in protest at the sacking of the president, Eric Del Val. He was dismissed on Friday by the National Assembly, who've supported the country's military leader, General Noriega, in a power struggle. The president is now in hiding. The Russians have admitted that two people died in the recent unrest in Armenia. An amateur video has shown that there have been demonstrations involving hundreds of thousands of Armenians calling for the return to them of disputed territory. Finally, the 15th Winter Olympics ended a few hours ago with the closing ceremony at Calgary in Canada. And there was a special cheer from the 60,000 crowd, all holding lighted candles for Eddie Edwards, the British ski jumper who proved that winning wasn't everything. Now here's someone who always wins, Batman. If you're ever confronted by an unpleasantly large odour problem, remember Airwick stick-ups. Air fresheners that help solve big odour problems in small places. When's lunch, please? I fly first class because I like good service. It's a duty feast before lunch. Can I get you something to be going on with? No, thank you. What will I look like on the beach? Hmm, enjoy your flight. Milky Way! That is tempting. Milky Way. Whipped light and fluffy so it won't fill you up and covered in milk chocolate. Aren't the pirates looking younger these days? Milky Way. The sweet you can eat between meals without ruining your appetite. Mm -hmm. Wash the city out of your hair every day with new Nivea shampoo and Nivea conditioner. Chesty cop arrives. It does <coughs> to get in the way. It spells. <coughs> it can bring us <coughs> to your day. There's no other word for it. It's downright. <coughs> 
Actiferic spectrum from Welcome is specially formulated to help deal with all these problems, and it's available from pharmacists without prescription. So when you get a chesty cough, you know what the last word is. What? <laughs>